So basically, if there's a person with type 2 diabetes listening to us today and they're taking 75 units That's of insulin, the, one of the takeaways should be, what do I need to do with my nutrition and other pharmacologic activities plus exercise plus everything that's under my control to maybe get that down to 35 where I would be at a physiologic level? Absolutely. There are things, as you in, already insinuated, weight loss, if you can get people to do it, exercise. And then we can add medications uh, in combination with insulin, uh, insulin sensitizers or some drugs to help you lose weight that will all uh, also allow you to get that dose reduced. The other thing we showed in this study, Dr. Del Prado, who's past president of the European Diabetes Association, we took normal, healthy, lean kids, 18, 25 years of age. And we gave them a very, very low dose uh, of insulin infusion. And we raised their fasting insulin from eight, which is what a normal, normal person would be, to 20. And within 48 to 72 hours, they were as insulin resistant as a type two diabetic patient. Did you say that in four days? 48 to 72 hours, and these people are as insulin resistant as type two diabetics. Okay, again, very, very counterintuitive. It's the direct effect of insulin down regulating the insulin signaling system and probably other distal metabolic within the cell uh, as well. And remember, when we treat type one diabetics, we're always giving the insulin into the periphery. Uh, and you or I, when uh, you ingest the meal, where does the insulin go? It goes into the portal vein. So the liver is seeing a high level of insulin. That's good. It says stop making glucose, but now it removes half of the insulin. So how much insulin gets into the periphery? Half of what you secreted. And in a certain way, if you're a diabetic and you are insulin resistant or an obese person and you are insulin resistant and you are hyper secreting insulin, it's kind of working against you because it's a reverberating system that's making the insulin resistance aggravate it. I told you, there are two problems in diabetes. Yeah. One is you don't make enough insulin. The other is you're insulin resistant. We're focusing on obesity and weight loss, and we should. But we need to remember that we still have a genetic cause for the insulin resistance. 